Okay, I've turned the blank down to about three-eighths of an inch and have it mounted on the deluxe mandrel. And I've tightened the uh, two nuts against each other on the end and just snugged it up so it wouldn't, wouldn't turn on me. The first thing I do at this point is mark where I want to make my cuts and make, the, make approximate marks. And I use a, a, a blank for that. Um, and what I do first is mark the approximate location of the clip area so I can make a little indent there. Of course, I, I mark the end, how much I want to cut off there. And if I want to do the grip area um, marks, I can do that as well right here. Make sure everything's lined up and then just kind of touch where you want to be there. So they're you know, equally distant apart. There. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be cutting these, but I'm going to just mark them to show you how it's done in case you want to do it. There's 11 of them. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then what I do is just um, make the cuts. And what I do is start with the clip area with a parting tool, 16th inch parting tool, and go to the end and then down at the other end. I work on that a little bit. Turn up a little bit. Make my cut here. Doesn't have to be too deep. Same thing there. On this taper right here with a skew. Turn up just a little bit more. Now another bushing. Just whatever looks good. pretty good. Then back down to this end for the um, nib end. Measure with a caliper. Make sure it's the right, about the right size, and then taper that end down. 